So here we are with restauranter and master chef judge, Marcus Waring. I am so excited to be here with you. So thank you so much. My pleasure, nice to be here. I didn't think I'd be here doing this. That I didn't think. How's your cooking? Back in 2017, I took a big kind of swing at my kitchen and I started baking a lot. I, I was baking a lot of muffins. I think um, okay. the waistbands of my team slightly <laughs> got enlarged during those championships. You've got, yes. your, own, you've got your own apron brand here. I, know I don't have one of those. My mum is very proud. That's really good. Like, um, Is it one of one? It's one of one, it's but one. I, would you like one? I, I That's can, pretty like, cool. <laughs> Normally Wimbledon yes. always been known for its strawberries and cream mm -hmm. and they sell thousands and thousands. I heard that they serve or something along the lines of just under like 200,000 portions yes. of strawberries I've a almost year. got the exact number. I think it's 191,000 and uh, there you go. something. <laughs> so I just went for the just below 200. Yes. That is a phenomenal <laughs> amount of strawberries. I know. But what I love about it, every strawberry that's served on the day is a fresh strawberry picked yes. that day. And yes. I just think now we've got a little bit more time on our hands. Why not create something just a little bit just a touch further up the ladder of quality. So what I wanted to do with this particular mm -hmm. dish is have everything that we all buy in supermarkets. We can get some fresh mint if you've not got them in the garden, some basil cress, and I've got some little meringue nests here. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of things we need to just prepare and that's our strawberries. So just grab a couple of little ones and leave them whole. Okay. If you can find a couple in there. Yes. We're just going to just cut them into halves. I'm taking this very seriously looking for the little ones. Okay, like... just, you only need a couple. <laughs> So what we're looking for are whole strawberries, some half strawberries and a quarter strawberries. Right, so a little bit of a marinade. What we're yes. going to do is just have a little sprinkling of uh, caster sugar. What the sugar does, it just helps to bring out, it enhances the, 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 the natural flavour. Yes. Then in here, in uh -huh. your jug, we've got a little bit of gin. Mm -hmm. Now, now that you're not playing, are you okay with that? Yes. I, even when I'm playing, I think everything is good in moderation. Good. Yeah, right, there's some like food for the soul and food for playing. There you go. Not that I've had much practice there with gin, so this might be very strong. So whoever wants the strong one yeah, can right. just come to me. Just... Grab some of this basil and then just get some mint and just pull onto the strawberry, like so. That's it. And they're just going to sit there happily in the sun. But there's one question I need to ask you. Yes. Food. What is, it. It, what, what, <laughs> what is food like on the tour? The athlete eats to fuel, to prepare for the Good. match or the practice, or um, it's very much not about the enjoyment of food, but more of what it brings to the table and what, yeah. how it can help me. And then there is the human side of it, the person side of it, where I absolutely love food. <laughs> and I've always grown up in, in an environment where everything's okay moderation and, and there is there was a lot of room to enjoy food um, and so I think I've definitely brought that with me into adulthood but obviously with the added yeah. depth of um, what I do for a living and how food also has a purpose for what I do. So in that bowl there I've already poured you some cream. Yes. I'm going to gently whip this up. I was telling you I was quite nervous to whip this because usually at home I have a nice electric <laughs> whisk and I'm like I was asking do I need to warm up or anything no I'm sure this is I'm sure you've got the strength in your arms to I, whip up a little bit of cream strength maybe technique I'm not so well, sure well, I was always taught when I was at school yes. at Catering College it was just a figure of eight let, let the whisk touch the bottom of the bowl this like is that. proper coordination though it it's is. like when you tap your head and rub that's your it. belly it's that's literally the sensation this is giving me and then I've got here just a touch of vanilla essence so rather than pour yes. this cream, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dollop on top of the dish. Now we can enjoy the best bit, which is dressing the plate yes. and making it look really nice. Tell me some about your favourite Wimbledon memories, because I hear you're local. Is that correct? Yes, I am. I, I live just over there somewhere. <laughs> I am. I've been in Wimbledon now for six years um, and I absolutely love it. And the, what I love is the atmosphere of, of the tournament coming together and getting built and all the people coming to, to make this place look incredible. It's, it's a great atmosphere and, and what I love about it is Wimbledon really takes a lot of time to respect the community. So we all, everybody even outside of the gates feels very much involved with what's going on inside. Yeah. It's the one event you don't want to finish. No, it just keeps I getting completely better agree. And better. And I, I feel very much part of the Wimbledon tournament by being a neighbour and the way the, the tournament treats us as being a neighbour and they respect us as neighbours and, and we also feel very much part of this experience. Grab one of the meringue's nests. Yes. And just, just break it up with a knife and then just place those around the plate, scatter them around however you want. Almost a little bit like eating mess in a way. Just looking at, you know, just looking at my competition there. <laughs> <laughs> Jelly? Jelly. And a spoon. Okay. And just dig in. Oh. You're just going to put little lumps of them around the plate. Okay. 
again, however you want. We're, we're, we're at the bottom of Hemmen Hill. Is it ever going to be um, there, Conta there were, Hill? There were slight whispers. I would oh, call really? Them whispers of Conta Cliff, although it sounds very Conta ominous. Cliff. I know, it sounds very ominous, and actually, I wouldn't want to sit on Conta Cliff, to be fair, <laughs> so I'd rather sit on Murray Mound on Hemmen Hill. Um, <laughs> but there were whispers at a time. Um, but no, I think um, I'd need to do something very, very special here, hopefully one day, I'm sure. um, for it to be in contention. But I think it's very, very much deservedly Henman Hill and Murray Mound. You've done okay. And I, I pay my respects. <laughs> <laughs> we that's all amazing. need inspiring by other people. Oh no, for sure. And that's I why I think agree. we all find lockdown so difficult. Because yes. it's tough when you're isolated. Well, no, there's very, very little human connection. And you yeah. notice when as soon as lockdown lifted slightly and people were allowed to kind of go outside. So much you, happier. Yes. And you, you just notice that people would actually stop and want to talk to you. And you, <laughs> you could just feel the kind of... Give you a hug. The, yeah, like, can I please hug you? Like, oh, from two metres, I feel the virtual it's hug. It's a long way. <laughs> Grab some more basil. Mm -hmm. Just grab some leaves and just break them all over the plate. I never would have thought to put basil with something that's sweet. It's a marriage of flavour and, and with the with the, uh, the sugar of the meringue uh -huh. and with the gin, you know, gin is about the, the lovely flavours that come from within it and that just underlines, sits within the dish. And yes. what you've got now is your cream mm -hmm. and you just put a nice big blob of that on top. You could always just pour a little bit more gin in the bottom of the dish. And there we have it. Now, I don't want anyone to be biased, but can we have a, I think that looks. Can we have some, I think some that opinion looks, here? I think that looks <laughs> amazing. In fact, that looks better in a bowl than it does on my plate. I think you won that one. Just purely circumstantial. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with talent.